Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. I've been practicing in the Scottsdale Paradise Valley area since 1992, and all I perform is aesthetic plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery. Um, I perform a lot of breast implants, and uh, one of the common questions that I have uh, posed to me is, do I need to replace these implants, and how often do I have to do it? Um, the first thing to understand is the breast implants have evolved quite a bit over the last 20 years. Um, a lot of the breast implant crisis that happened in the early 90s was related to gel implants that were put in the 60s and 70s uh, that, that were really not as sophisticated as they are now. The outer covering of the breast implant was uh, more flimsy than they are currently and they were more apt to see things like gel bleed. Uh, consequently, um, uh, I think the evolution of breast implants have seen a much more stable outer covering of the implant, whether it's being saline or silicone on the inside. Hence, I think that um, uh, the rupture rate that we see is incredibly low now, uh, along with the capsular contracture rate. There are different types of implants that can be put in, whether they're saline or silicone, and in terms of their replacement, um, we're saying that now we like to see replacement anywhere between 10 and 20 years. Um, uh, a saline breast implant, generally we feel is that if it's not broken, don't fix it. I think that if you have a deflation with a saline implant, you will see it uh, either um, uh, immediately or within a month or two as that implant starts to decrease in volume, you'll see a difference in the size of the breast or you'll just see a flat tire immediately. With that in mind, I think that's the implant you want to get changed you know, within a month or two. Um, a silicone breast implant, if you see changes in the breast implant with regards to the way the breast looks in terms of shape, if it becomes hard, if you're having pain, those are signs that you may want to have the breast implant replaced uh, or at least have it evaluated. Uh, once again, the implants are so good now uh, that we're saying somewhere between 10 and 20 years is when you should replace a silicone implant. I'm telling people about 10 or 15 years. Uh, and and the, the way to get them evaluated is either through mammogram or MRIs and really the jury's not out yet with regards to how often to have those MRI exams. Different implants have different warranties so if there's a rupture before the uh, 10 year mark most often that is covered by the breast implant company. Other companies have lifelong warranties so the best way to get an idea of which implant is best for you and the possible risk complications is to see a board certified plastic surgeon, see someone who performs a lot of breast augmentations with a long history and really can talk to you about what your chances are with regards to complications and what his own or her own track record is. Thanks a lot.